So, as this video is live, I've already probably tweeted out and told you guys on stream that I got to play a test version of Act 3. I got to play the new map, I got to play the new character, and I got to use the new skins. And I'm making this video to basically just guide you guys through the new map and kind of give you guys my first impressions, a little bit of information, what spots are important to play, what characters I think might be good or bad. So, the name of the new map is Icebox. And oh boy, this map is fun. Like, we all know that the Valorant maps do a very, very good job of unique maps where, you know, Haven has three bomb sites find us teleporters and i have to say that the uniqueness of this map is definitely not a crazy mechanic or anything how different the design of the map and the sites and the choke points are compared to every single other map i've played in this fps game before let's take a look at the a site it's like a playground it has horizontal zip lines it has vertical zip lines it has crazy boxes everywhere angles corners but none of them really felt overwhelming there are a lot of really good spots that aren't wall bangable there's under catwalk there's this little cubby that works really really well to play and just completely force your position to be an absolute threat to the enemy team but the thing is this isn't the only location like that on the entire site right there are so many different corners that aren't water playable, so many different positions, so many different headshot angles, so many different one and dones. It's such a dynamic site. I feel like when I play certain maps now, there's already been a very defined meta. You know, though, a certain way you want to play your post plant, a certain way you want to play your retake, certain positions you kind of want to play a majority of the time. But this site, I feel like it's going to be one of the absolute most dynamic sites on the game. No matter if you're playing offense, you're playing defense, there's going to be so many different ways of approaching taking the site, so many different ways of approaching aggressive defensive play, so many different ways of approaching just holding for rotations or planting the bomb in different locations, using your ultimates in very, very fun ways. Jet uses this site like a playground. Jet and Rays, I felt when I played, you can go anywhere you want. You have so many crazy angles. The amount of just ledges and catwalks and the zip line. Playing this side as a defense, I don't think it's harder to play defense than it is offense. I think that characters like Reyna will excel on sites like this when you can play your one one and dones, kind of force those locations, get that free kill in a corner, and use your ability to just get out. Jet obviously is just good the dash on its own as a disengage or as an engage is very very powerful and the updrafts on this map are going to be absolutely crucial i definitely see jet as an s tier character on this map but the thing is getting to these different locations getting up on these different high grounds there are ways to get up on them without using abilities as well be it box to jump ups be it zip lines be it you know just in general jumping from from one of the zip line locations in the nests to a box retaking the site similarly this is the site where I feel like Sova is a little bit weaker than on other maps. Because most of these walls aren't really wall bangable. And if they are wall bangable, odds are you're not really dealing that much damage. And then because of the absolute amount of corners on the site, it's very hard getting a good arrow that would really scan everything. Very, very hard to kind of just get a good arrow that will clear the key areas. Because you clear one corner, there's one corner the arrow misses. I think if you learn to use them, you'll still make him very useful on this map. Um... But he's not going to be as straightforward or easy as on other maps. It's maintaining that control and not letting the enemy flank. Mid is a little bit different in this map than other maps. So let me summarize the way I felt the map played in our play tests for you. If you want to push A, you can push A. Flanks are a little bit scary and it's kind of a chaotic site to play. But if you want to push A, you just have to go A. You don't really need that mid control. You just got to make sure you don't get flanked, right? But going A is totally fine. The pug teams we were in would kind of opted towards going A most of the time. But then if you want to go B, Going mid is a necessity. You don't really go B without having mid control. And if you think about it this way, if a team isn't contesting mid control, more than likely they're just going A. So it'll be very easy to read teams that never try to take it. And teams that are contesting mid control, they can actually go B and A. The CTs towards their spawn area, they have like a ramp where they can play really, really powerful headshot angles. The thing is that it's not really a forced choke point in middle at all. There's a weird sort of tunnel on the left side of middle if you're on the offense POV. So you can walk inside of this tunnel and it will lead you to kitchen. But not only can you walk inside the tunnel, you can also walk underneath it, or if you have a character like Jet or Race, you can dash or jump on top of it as well. Kitchen can kind of see this, so if you're playing in Kitchen, you can kind of hold control of both, but it kind of also, if you manage to get on top of the tunnel, you have a lot more pressure on mid. You're, you can get wallbang pretty easily from inside the tunnel as well, though. So what I like doing on offense, dashing on top, lurking inside the tunnel, dashing underneath, or just in general holding for mid pushes and kind of playing it slow, I felt like that worked really well for me. And especially on low buy rounds, I like just going A, or rounds where we had read on the player's tendencies. This player likes playing this corner this player doesn't like playing that corner uh we can kind of just counterplay them in that way where we understand where we want them to go 
So in general, I think Killjoy and Breach are really, 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 really good characters on this map. And I think this is a map where defenders are going to learn or have to learn when to be aggressive and when to be defensive. I think proper A setups are going to be very hard to figure out, especially in ranked and in fug environments. Like when you're peeking B from either side, there's two alternative angles that an op can take to you. So you don't know which one to pre-fire. So if an op just sits posted on one of the angles, the odds are someone might peek you from the other one. And it plays really, really well. And then opping on A is not too powerful either because the site is very vertical and it's got a lot of ups and downs. So you can't just force on a really powerful angle where you guarantee get a kill if someone peeks you because people can always come from the other side of the site. What's interesting about this is the main site is a container with a zip that goes up. You can plant it on the first floor and you can plant it on the second floor of the container. You can have a bomb on top, which makes the rounds play very differently on post plans and, and retakes. And it's very, very interesting. I want to thank Riot and the Play Valor and game team and dev team to, for inviting me for this playtest. It was an honor and it was so much, so much, so much fun. I'll be making way more in-depth map videos on this as soon as the map releases so I can really learn all the different characters. I would love to hear what you think of this map. As soon as it releases, come back to this video, comment, and give me all the feedback on the map. And I would love to test stuff out. Definitely be monitoring these comments. And I want to know what you guys do as your first step on your main character, how you approach playing this map. And I want to know what you do, what you think of. I want to see your ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are excited for my sky walkthrough as well. I'll be making a video about her teaching you guys her abilities and how how she plays and I think the best maps and locations for her to play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you for the next one.